Oh my god, look at that. These basic Skaven slaves literally got 828 gold value. Our Skaven slaves actually got more value than their trolls on average. That's bananas. And we have returned. Clone Warfare. We can get this now. 1 to 5 random augments. And we have most of these augments unlocked now. I really want to get a second brain on as many of them as possible, because this massively increases leadership, and Death Frenzy is a really substantial ability. That 24 melee attack for even a moment is really huge. Necro Parasites is also incredibly strong, even more healing than a Boulder Clan Stone. For right now, though, I need to chase these suckers down. So I'm going to start by attacking Fort Stragoff here. This is the first of many parts of this turn. I do auto-resolve it. I might even make like 30 or 40 food this turn, and this is the only settlement I'll be able to take this turn. So I'm going to grab this at tier 3, and I think I'll get almost all of that food back by the time I have the chance to take a main settlement. I think I have enough movement range to take them on one at a time, but with both my armies for each of them. Alright, so I'll try that first. Actually, an ambush battle. Okay, so that'll be interesting then. We haven't gotten one of those yet, and you just are going to charge in. I don't think we need our reinforcements or anything. I think we're going to be completely fine here. Our lord's going to come there. He's debuffed quite a bit. What's that from? Oh, ambushed. Yeah, just the ambush penalty. The snow leopards are so bad against infantry. They're terrible against infantry. And against most things. They're just not very good. Alright, we're just going to pop this here to make sure we're having no losses whatsoever. We have three free uses of it. May as well use them. Shouldn't have taken too many losses. 57. And we might actually be able to go for Fort Ostrock here. I'm not sure how much movement range we'll have left. I'm just going to go for that. That's fine. I don't know if the Slingers are going to be valuable enough to bother getting for the most part now, because they don't come with the... Well, they do come with Augments, but they don't use the Augments. They're all melee Augments. And what do you have? Okay, mostly Slingers there. We should be able to deal with them unless they recruit something crazy. We should be alright there. If I need to, I can recruit another Lord here. How are these guys looking? Okay, still no balance of power. They have nothing. The Ice Court is looking surprisingly decent. I don't know if this army is really overweighted or if they have another army. I think it's more likely that the Ice Court has a third army somewhere. Okay, they're building up an army there, which is actually incredible for me, because I'll be able to get two of my armies there to deal with them if I need to. If these guys declare war on me, I might be in trouble. If they want a trade agreement? Oh. Oh, shit, actually, what the fuck happened here? They took the uh, dwarves territory. Uh, why is the camera not on him? I don't know, but I can see what he's doing there. Okay, he's just moving in a little bit. That is really tough. That changes things for the worse. Oh, they get recruited with instabilities very frequently. Okay. Probably two-thirds of the guys I recruited. Maybe half. Maybe only half. This guy's very strong. But some of them are really not good. <laughs> yeah, once we cycle through and, and only keep the ones without instabilities, the good ones, we should be alright. So Garth is going to go for this then. This is how we're going to start this turn. Is this ideal? Absolutely not. Could we probably win this? Yeah. They don't have any mammoths or anything crazy. Oh, we auto-resolve that. Yeah, I'm gonna auto-resolve that. Um, experience or... Yeah, about a thousand gold. That's worth it. And you still have your full movement range. That's what really matters. Okay, not looking too bad. That's looking very winnable. Alright, so I'm gonna actually handle this over here first. Yeah, auto resolve might just be really overweighing this army, actually, because that is just wrong. They're going for a very wide formation, which is a bad idea for them. Alright, we're doing good over here. Oh, I completely forgot about these guys. Yeah, and these uh, two full stack battles, I do tend to just forget about some units sometimes. Alright, so before they even fully break, I don't give a shit if they have Vyra Blood active, they're going to do a little more damage to us. But we're going to save more health by just healing up here. All you annoying, stinky little guys are going to cram into a tiny location. Oh my god. Oh no. This is a crime against humanity. Look at that. I can barely see the ground. They would they would genuinely start dying at this level of... um, <laughs> At this level of density. They would just be stepping on each other, just trampling. That was definitely not the majority of their balance of power. This army might have been half of their balance of power or less overall. So they do have another army somewhere here, and I don't know where it is. Oh my god. That is a lot of augmentations. 16 bonus versus large AP damage. Yeah, I'm just going to fight this and make sure that I heal up all the way with the Mulder Clan Stone. 
we would have lost at least 500 if we didn't heal up with the clan stone. So definitely just going to keep using that. It's so strong. <laughs> I'm getting food so fast that I feel like I can just occupy this at level 3 again. I feel like that's fine. Oh, that's dumb. Oh, maybe not. No, still dumb. No, definitely still dumb, actually. The Stelton is back and he's recruiting there. I might send both of these guys down to him then. All right, over here. Oh, for a second I saw the number of units they had and I was worried. But that is just Skaven Slave Slingers. We don't even need any additional uses of the Menace below. We just win this. We'll just fucking run at them. <laughs> uh, they're casting on themselves. What the fuck? They're casting on themselves and then running from their casts that they put on themselves. Alright, fine. Yeah, they had almost 2,000 troops. They're down below 500. Okay, they're gone. I mean, it, it would be more heroic of us to let them win. <laughs> Just to give them the win, man. <laughs> like arm wrestling a little kid, you know? You gotta let them win one. Okay, I'll start by besieging this. And I'll see what the balance of power is looking like. I can't attack it immediately regardless. I don't have a siege attacker. I'm going to start here. I lose only units that I want to get rid of anyways, and I'll be able to recruit more over the end turn. That's fine. Uh, I'm not going to rank this one up. And then prog. Prog, prog, prog. These guys are just going to be fodder because they are garrison units. Uh, yeah, they're all turned around right as we're pushing into them. Right, we'll toss that there. All right, all of you guys are just going to move in as much as you can here. Okay, they're starting to route over here. We definitely need to lock them up here. We gotta prevent them from firing on us. I wasn't gonna wall camp them like this, but they kind of forced me to by just sitting by the reinforcement location. They were cheesing me. I am tempted by that healing, but I need the gold. Oh, that was all of their armies. Holy shit. Yeah, we'll absolutely beeline for that then. Pretty simple. We just absolutely <laughs> attack Kislev next turn. Mm, maybe I should have gone for a little replenishment. Regardless, we're gonna fuck them up. We'll go for Fort Ostrock next turn. I just genuinely forgot to go for it this turn. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm gonna back off here. Exclusively for food-saving purposes. With enough summons, I can take that. But I can easily go for them next turn with twice as much strength. Probably auto-resolve them, and they're not gonna recruit anything in the meantime. Let me guess. You declare war on me. They're at war with Kislev, though. They shouldn't dislike me this much. Uh, are you gonna attack? No. I mean, I like experience and I like gold, but research rate for me right now is gonna be gigantic. I have enough gold to get by. So, you can't attack that directly, but you can get probably within reinforcement range. Uh, yeah. Actually, no, that did lose us out on one more turn's worth of siege towers. The World Walkers, though, really are my biggest threat at this point. I'm just hoping they don't push me too hard, which is why I have this guy up here. I might need another army there soon. Alright, with Throt though, I really should fight this now. This is a really rough settlement to deal with, honestly. This is a bad one for me. Okay, you guys are just gonna go. Just go. Just do your thing. And right here, we're gonna summon to stop them from shooting. Oh, that was a really good cast. Okay, good damage here. Good damage here. Just firing at will, and they've pretty much wiped out that one unit. Uh, I'm gonna use Necroparasites on this guy. It heals like 70%, but I don't want to risk him routing before I use it. Uh, not looking good here, but these guys can completely die. I was going to disband them anyway soon. And over here, we're looking alright, actually. We're looking alright. We did a lot of damage with these slingers. Yeah, if they could just briefly, just very briefly charge them. Just one good charge. And they're not doing it. Oh, what are they doing? What are they doing? What is... What? What is that pathing? Oh my god. We are actually getting a lot of victory tickets here. We're getting them quite quickly. Once we capture this, it'll be a wash. Alright, minus 24 stats. Oh yeah, 8 and 14 melee attack and defense. We're better than him now. <laughs> All it takes is a couple well-placed buffs and debuffs and you can really just beat anything. Army losses, minus 120. There we go, baby. Alright. 1,106. How much will that go up? I'm bad at math, but I want to say that's 166. So... Yeah, I mean, that's that's not bad at all, and that's just on one army, not even all of the units from it. 575 value, so the ones with Necroparasites in particular, both because they were at the front for an extended period of time, and because they used that heal, they got a lot of value, a thousand between them, that is not bad. I could get this settlement, plus the other settlement I'm about to take, the other uh, settlement from the other faction of Kislev, forget the name of the settlement, doesn't matter, 
Uh, I could get both of them at tier 3, or this one at tier 4 and that other one at tier 1. I'm going to go for both of them at tier 3. I feel like that definitely makes the most sense. And we'll go for the hunting camp. That'll be pretty massive. No food generation from the hunting camp, really? Uh, yeah, Throt is now ranked 12. Okay, two ranks away from the Brood Horror. But for right now, we can get Specimen Collector, which is going to dramatically increase our casualty replenishment. Confident out of these traits is probably the best. Strategist is decent, but Confident is just very good. Getting him into Throt's army, we will get 5,000 gold immediately once we do that, and a bunch of other bonuses as well. Creature Killer, 20 food, 5,000 gold. Not bad at all. Oh, they're selling out to attack me. That'll make my job a lot easier. Oh, he's on a bear now. That's going to make him a lot more difficult to deal with. And over here, they're going to break very quickly. All right, you come back there. My micro struggles so much in large battles like this that it might actually be good <laughs> that some of my units are rampaging. That might actually be beneficial. Uh, because all our units are different and special, because they all have their different mutations, that makes them a lot more difficult to micro, because some of them are dramatically better at certain things, and I, I can't quickly gauge that by looking at them. I have to mouse over them to check. Uh, Castalton's running, but he's also regening. Oh, these guys took no damage taking him out. That's very impressive. Oh yeah, that's the army losses. I do need to chase as many of them down as possible, because they sallied out, and they're still going to be in the settlement. Yeah, I believe that'll hit all of them. And then let's see here. So, 3,500, a little bit over. Yeah, 450 models. And yeah, that's a close victory. Oh, they have one unit left. This region is dog shit. It's getting me, like, a cumulative 600 gold across three uh, settlements. So I'm not overly concerned if Throt takes it. And let's see if we can auto-resolve this. I should be able to, for sure. Yeah. Uh, can I get you a rank 3? I can. Don't even go below normal food levels, once again. Yeah, faction-wide tradable resources production and income from trade tariffs. We're gonna see if this works. I do not know if this will work. It might not function because we have clone warfare. They might be mutually exclusive. We're gonna give it a shot, though. We might just lose 4,000 gold, 10 food, and a lot of time. I, can't, I didn't even think to check if there was a recycle button because it doesn't say that you can't recycle them. Ah, that is such a shame. There's nothing to say it's mutually exclusive there, so that is annoying for this specific scenario. Fuck. Yeah, I think I'll just sack that. Er, oh god, that chaos. That chaos attrition. Uh, I might just raise this and grab the growth bad juice. I don't want to expand up here and make myself even more vulnerable. Our balance of power is really actually not looking bad here. Oh, uh, you're gonna attack that, aren't you? I don't think he wins that, though. At least not easily. I mean, these Malevolent Treekin are tougher than the motherfucker. I mean, these guys are just absolute bricks. Um, I don't want to fight them into trees like I normally would. One, because they don't have missiles, and I do. And two, because they are trees. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're gonna need to just stay alive here. Alright, you're all gonna push in. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna toss one of these... Probably... In my center here. We've taken the most damage there, and I don't want to route there. Okay, the bears are still taking damage, but they're still not routing. God, this is a bit rough. This is a bit rough here. It's so hard to tell what's going on, man. Yeah, we just need more bodies on the front lines here. That is unfortunate. But the question is, how valiant was that defeat? Do we actually get fucked here? Because I don't think we do. I didn't check how many units they lost, but it was probably a decent number. Yeah, he's just going to take that. That's fine. That's fine. I'm just hoping they... Ooh, they didn't lose any units there. Ah, uh, they stole my fireball. Alright, I mean, there's not a lot left here. I might play the long game. All the way up to there. I can go a little further up. Okay. And I'm going to merge some units. And I'm going to recruit a decent bit. Uh, one hero per army is my rule. So I will actually abide by that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this guy outside of the army for the moment. Creature killer, we have that. That'll actually be a significant buff for him. And we should be able to just auto-resolve this. We might have to fight it. If we do, that's a bit annoying. Oh, they don't even have a full garrison. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm not even going to rank it up at all. I'll leave it as is. Factions destroyed. Oh, yeah, yeah, they're gone. The Great Orthodoxy has been obliterated. So that is one part of our short victory condition done. I'll force march right here. Because these guys are going to take this. And I don't want them to declare war on me for trespassing. 
I do have the Plague Priest building. Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> it's been so long since I've played a faction that had this. Okay, yeah, I can get two Plague Priests. Well, I'm glad I noticed that now. <laughs> I was pretty damn sure I had that building, but I just, I literally forgot to check <laughs> this button. Alright, I made a few pretty severe rookie mistakes this campaign. Ooh, yes, thank you. Thank you. I probably want that non-aggression pack too. 500 gold a turn is just gigantic for us. We have a surprising amount of trade goods. What are you doing? Oh! Oh, I forgot they're at war! Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> that's actually, that's incredibly good for me! Thank you! And their weaker arm- oh, they're, they are going for an ambush. But I might want to walk into that one. Hold up, hold up, hinder replenishment. That could be very good. 46% chance, but if we do it, that'll stop their replenishment entirely for a good little while here. Oh, we succeeded. Nice, and how long will that be for? Four turns! And she's very hurt there. I want to take this, and once I take this, I want to have Throt be close enough to reinforce it if slash when Drycha attacks. I'll actually take this to tier 3 so I can get a garrison up there real quick. But we're going to move down here and probably get ambushed. Or not. Or not. We're just not going to get ambushed then. Well, fine. That's that's actually okay. Okay, nice. Life is cheap. Let's let's see what uh, the cost for this army is. Okay, 1209. Each of these guys costs about 40. These guys cost almost 60. Bang. And plus 10 uh, armor. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. And we don't even have numbers beyond counting yet. In three turns... That's going to be gigantic. These guys are going to be very near zero cost. And we don't even have either Quartermaster or Renowned and Feared yet. So that'll be an additional, like, 17% there. Okay, Throg is vibing there. Great. That's fine. Oh, fuck. That's a lot of instabilities. Oh, my lord. I'll just keep recruiting and I'll re-recruit as many as I need to. Because it is only, like, 200 gold each. What do you want to do? Oh, she's going in. She's going aggro. They might go for Plagrock. Yeah, they're both going for Plagrock. That's why I didn't force march him. Even if I max out my summons, though, this army just doesn't have the backbone to beat that. Yeah, we, we've gone far enough that I don't think they can follow up, except for with their one army. Oh, is he out of reinforcement range? Oh, he's going for another ambush there. I might walk into that. I might walk into that ambush, but Dreitch is in force march. I should be able to just murk her. That is really good for me overall. Oh... That's actually going to be very good for me. That's going to be very good for me. One thing that I'm considering right now is sending this lad down here. All right, he could wipe these guys out. All while Throt is up here dealing with these guys. So what is your balance of power compared to Drycha? Fuck it, I'm going to go for the ballsy play. And we're going to just zoom down here because Drycha, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, that's definitely all of her armies. If she has one more army, it's dog shit. Okay, and they're recruiting here. That doesn't matter, though. We'll be able to wipe these guys out next turn. I want three menace Belows. Yeah, we're just going to go for pretty basic strats here. The clan rats were not super effective other than making Drycha cast on her own units. All right, I'm going to cast one more of these right here and see if she casts on them again. If she does, that could be very good for me. Yeah, they're mostly just casting on themselves. That's that's fine. That's fine. That's actually the real value of the Menace Belows here. It forces them to cast on themselves. Well, no, it doesn't force them to, but it, it makes the dumbass AI choose to. I feel like one very good cast there is going to do a lot of damage. Yeah, that's not bad at all. They cast it on their own units again. They just keep doing that. Great. Thank you. Okay, if we can just hold them back for literally a couple seconds, that'll be an incredibly valuable cast. That is good. Overall balance of power, though, is unfortunately about the same as where it started. Alright, a lot of these Dryads are doing way more damage than I thought. They're really just tearing through me, despite having, like, 20 models left. And these guys have one... Really? Really. Okay, I think Dreicho might be a little overtuned right now, because these, these literal Glade Guard have one model left 12 HP, and they're still fighting. And we're gonna definitely fully crumble in a second here. But overall, I think we've traded really well here. It's their incredibly high leadership that's the main problem. So yeah, all of these fuckers are wiped out. <laughs> oh! 
Let's see. Oh, and I forced him that way. I forced him back up into my territory. Oh my god. So now I have my pick here. All right. Which one do I want to wipe out first? I feel like Raicha is the more important one to wipe out. Get that last little bit up there, and then I can have reinforcements while fighting Drycha. Yeah, this is an easy dub now. Oh, they're using that only on my weakest unit, though. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not even gonna bother moving them, really. I don't want to let them just slowly use all their magic, so I'm gonna have to start moving up here soon. All of you. Shoot that tree man. God, they're so good, those malevolent tree kin. They're so good. Uh, you guys just try and overwhelm them. Just scare them by existing in such high numbers. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll charge it from both sides at the same time. Oh my god, you took a lot of damage, but you also did a decent chunk. Why are you not charging it properly? Okay, okay, fine. Overall, lost less than a thousand, so not bad at all. Oh my god, that was so good, man. It looks like next turn... Our voluntary, valiant, and very, very much consenting to go to war soldiers are going to wipe out the entirety of Kislev. They could absolutely take Fort Ostrok right now, so I'm going to move Garth down there. Ooh, Throg. Ah. I'm pretty sure I have a garrison in Fort Stragov. I'm not very confident in our ability to win that with that army. I don't think Flagrock takes that. You could actually attack Throg right away. With the help of that garrison. What is that garrison looking like? That is quite a garrison right there. That's a full stack. Even a few uh, storm vermin in there. I'm going to try it because we actually have that warp bomb. That might make the difference here. I don't think they're going to run away. Uh, Throg himself is going to be nearly impossible for me to kill. I'm going to have to rely on his relatively low leadership of 70. And just killing his entire army around him. I don't like the look of this thing. I don't think individually it's that dangerous, but it does have terror. The amount of fear and terror that they have here, it is just too much, honestly. I don't expect to have a better chance than this, so I'm going to use this right here, just in time. Oh yeah, that's the equivalent of taking out one full unit of the Marauder Berserkers for free. Obviously, you know, not perfect, but that's good enough that that will really help us. That balance of power is not too bad. That's probably 60-40 in their favor. You guys got to move up too. Almost forgot about you. That could be bad. Okay, all of you shoot those Marauder Berserkers specifically. Okay, the Menace below. Right here, we're going to go for that. Okay, that's a mass route. That's a mass route. Yeah, I just need to stop those Marauder Berserkers from getting value. Yeah, the Micro's really gotten away from me a little bit here, but it's just, it's so fucking hard in this situation. I get a good charge in there, break them. You keep running over here. Uh, quick heal there. Not perfect by any means, but I need this heal mid-fight, not afterwards. We're running out of ammo. That's that's not good. Over here, they are broken. I don't know. I don't know if we win this, but we might. This is possible. This is possible. And even if we don't win it at this point, I think a lot of those motherfuckers are getting wiped out. Okay, actually, hard focus them. Hard focus them. They're getting a lot of value. These guys are good as well, but these guys are getting more value. Yep. Pretty sure we have, like, fear and terror on a couple of these guys. It's just having all the abilities active through the sheer number of guys with abilities that we have. That's really a big factor here. Alright, want spears in combat with Throg. Okay. Oh, yep, army losses. That's gone. They're gone. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Very Pyrrhic victory, but still a victory. We get recovery, they don't, and holy fuck, they fought to the death. Oh my god, look at that. These basic Skaven slaves... Literally got 828 gold value. Our Skaven slaves actually got more value than their trolls on average. That's bananas. And yeah, Throg is not going to be much of a threat to me for a little while there. This really is just going so well. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking I'm just going to raise this to just slow Dreicha down. Throg could solo this. Are you kidding me? That's brutal. And this gets him up to 123 speed. Yeah, he's going to eat them. We literally gained health from that fight. Zero losses. And now it is just this lad who is going to be taking this. Maybe an auto resolve, maybe in a real fight. We'll see. But this will be the end of Kislev. Oh, not an auto resolve at all. I mean, really, all we need to do here is force them into melee. And yeah, that should be the end of Kislev right there. Faction destroyed the ice court. They've been obliterated. We're on turn 21. We have five armies, and we need 14 more settlements. I think that's doable by turn 30. 
Throg is going to go down here as well pretty soon. I'm going to start to try and, you know, chip into his territory. Yeah, down here, Drycha is mostly, mostly wiped out. She does have at least one more army. This ended the exact same way as the last episode, and that went so well, <laughs> where I basically wiped out the legendary lords of the two factions I wanted to destroy. So I'll just do the same thing again. I am not going to do the long campaign victory for this uh, campaign. I hate this long campaign victory condition. It just does not look fun. But what I might do instead is just take over the Empire. Peace out. Thanks for watching.